What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Arizona Cardinals Rebuild Franchise on Madden 19. We're going to have some fun today. Week 14 against Josh Rosen. I can't wait. Rosen, of course, was our quarterback when this series began, but I just didn't think he was the right long-term quarterback for us. Rosen is an 84 overall. The stats look good here, attribute-wise, and he's still an average starting quarterback on paper by overall standards. Here are the stats throughout his career now. We've seen a good but not great quarterback for most of these seasons, but this current one, where his touchdown to interception ratio is certainly elite. He has good yardage, a good QB rating, the completion percentage is a little bit low, and so is the yard per attempt. So it's kind of an interesting mix of stats here for Rosen. So we'll see us take on our old quarterback soon. First, we're going to sim this San Francisco game and see if we can get win number 10. Wow, closer than expected, but still another win. Not much offense in this game. Two touchdowns for both quarterbacks, and it looks like the 49ers have made the change, and they have now decided to start Hunter Hogue, who I think has superstar development. I will take a look. I've been waiting for this actually for a while. I knew he'd take over for Jimmy eventually. Good start for him. Jason Lemon, 3.4 yards per carry with the touchdown. Trey Brackenridge with a touchdown against us. Caldwell gets a rare score this season. And Dre Riddle. I'll go through some of the catches allowed stats more so as well. Jalen Smith allowed seven in this game apparently, but Overall, a good day for the defense, and now 10 victories on the season, a step closer to the playoffs. Maybe Hogue's been playing this entire time. I don't see Jimmy anywhere. So Hunter has superstar development. He will get, obviously, a lot of upgrades throughout his career. Excellent short accuracy already, and the deep accuracy does need some work. We'll watch him play against us, I'm sure, eventually, but right now San Francisco is just really bad. Yeah, he's definitely been playing for a while then with 384 pass attempts, 17 touchdowns. These are good numbers, so I think San Francisco will definitely be better a year from now, and maybe we'll watch one of those games. I've been cheering for that rivalry to get going this entire time with Brackenridge and what he's done to us, but we'll worry about that later. Cardinals now ready to take on the Chargers, who have eight wins on the season. Nice matchup here against the old QB1. We'll get to do some upgrading first. How are Iwabima? He has another one. He upgrades so quickly. 90 finesse moves, 85 block shed, 87 overall now. And wow, a lot of things getting better, including four power move, two finesse, agility, acceleration. That is a uh, super roll right there. Backup quarterback Garrett Varonis just went up by two overall thanks to some accuracy bumps. Here are his ratings. And Martavis Caldwell, who's only a 79 overall deep threat, or 79 overall deep route running. That gets a little bit better here, a little medium route running as well. And Hunter, Mason McConnell, you normally just get like awareness boost here, and there you go. Oh yeah, that's right, we got the soccer stadium here, let's go. Cardinals and Chargers. So we've obviously done well since moving on from Josh Rosen. We won a Super Bowl with Lester Phelps, and now we're on our third quarterback of the series, J.W. Unger, and I believe he is the long-term answer. If I could give him a, a long-term extension, I gladly would now. We'll probably talk about contracts later in the episode, but for most of the players that I have, do up at the end of the year I still don't know what I want to do and I want to see the cap situation for next year all right Rosen long time no see of course they have some shenanigans here to start the game monster package and Rosen's gonna give this up the middle they got some room on it as well it's a gain of 11 so, of course, they have Josh Rosen as QB1. Bennett Wilkins is their top running back, but we just saw Gregory Hopkins on that last play. Neither one has amazing speed, but they have elusiveness. Wilkins has some power. He'll definitely be their 
their power back, but Hopkins will play most of the time. At receiver, they still have Keenan Allen, although he's much older now and just an 84 overall. Parker Robbins, Spencer Lott. Okay, DeMar Noble could be a problem for us. I know Isaiah Wynn seems to have a couple bad plays every episode where he allows a sack. Or is this Russell is solid? This is a really good defensive line. Allen Carlson. The strength of this defense seems to be their front seven. There's also Derwin James. So a solid team. Eight wins. And keep an eye on the Seahawks score. If that Week 17 game is important, we will watch it. If not, I might sim it. Here's a handoff to the outside, and they've got plenty of room down the sideline. It's a first down for Wilkins. Now they go play action. Rosen got to get this away. He does, and it's caught for the touchdown. Keenan Allen. What a start for the LA Chargers here to make a statement. Good running to open and then the play action off of it. Touchdown was allowed. Oh no, that is not good for me. That was Corey Holiday. Oh boy. Not going to hear the end of that one. I know that. Hopefully we have an answer as the Cardinals come out. Two tight ends in the formation. And this is Jason Lemon running ahead for about three yards. Based on what you've seen this season and accounting for Lemon's injury history, would you give him the $9 million a year deal that he's looking for? Here's second down. Unger, open! It's caught for the first down, and that's Devontae Adams. Maybe I'll do a poll on this video, and maybe I should write it down so I don't forget. Should we sign Jason Lemon to the long-term deal? Is the running back position worth investing in like that? Here's a handoff up the middle. Lemon. Another run, and Avery Payne gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage, and it's third down. Third down and three. Unger has time, and that's cut by Lucas McAllister, who has the speed to escape and pick up the first down and more. That Lucas McAllister signing has been actually really impactful. I think if you look at some of the best under-the-radar signings I've made, he'd have to be toward the top. I think that would even be true if you included the Brown series. Did I have any signings in the Brown series that were quite like that? I know, obviously, the one-year DB deals for, like, Marcus Peters worked out and stuff. Here's Unger, and that's some touch on it to the sideline. Unbelievable. That's Caldwell. First and ten, a little dump off now. McAllister's going to take us inside the five. How about the yards after catch for him? This is a, a slow defense, maybe, for L.A. We fake it to Lemon on first down. Unger outside. We get a little... No, we don't get closer at all. <laughs> I wonder if we try it again. Oh, man. We got false start right there. Spurlock with a catch for zero and a false start. It's not a good sequence. All right. Are they blitzing or are they bluffing? Second down. I'm in motions out. Inside, Avery Payne stonewalled. Tight splits here on third and goal. Unger, end zone, almost picked intended for Adams. So a positive possession, no touchdown though. I would like to watch more of the Chargers. They had a very impressive first possession. Hopefully we can step it up. First down, here's Rosen to the air, and that's Keenan Allen who gets another first down. I wonder where this series would be right now if we had never gotten rid of Josh Rosen. I think it was the right move, obviously. But I still wonder how things would have worked out. Because I think part of me still kind of wondered, like, should we keep him? Because that ball got knocked away by Deontay Wallace, the rookie that I think has exceeded expectations this year. He's been a tackle machine, and he's also been productive in passing situations, it appears. Third down and three now for Rosen. He fires, and it's complete. Aaron Howell got beat in coverage that time. 
That's almost picked. Almost got that one. Buda Baker. Allen was their only high-rated receiver, though, so I don't expect them to throw it all over our defense. Here's Rosen on second down. Nice job against Bosa. That right tackle destroyed him on that rep. And Rosen lofts this downfield. What a throw. And what a start. A fake again, keeping it in Rosen's hands this possession as he fires for the touchdown and for the second time, Keenan Allen. What a start. Revenge games sometimes bring out the best in players. I think we're seeing Josh Rosen at his best right now. Not sure I've seen anything quite like this recently. Wow. Kind of at a loss for words right now with this start from LA. We are struggling and I hope we can play some defense soon. On to the second quarter. Six yards, Bennett Wilkins, incomplete. And we can't stop Keenan Allen, it appears. Two touchdowns already. Rosen marching them down the field in the air. They're doing everything well at the moment. First down, Gregory Hopkins. Are they gonna make it three in a row? That penalty helps us, but it doesn't stop them from scoring. What's happening right now? I don't think you can count us out down 18 points, but this is pretty new. This is uncharted territory. This is what we did to the Cowboys. And now we're on the other side of it with the toss here to Lemon. He's going to lose about four. Rosen's a good quarterback, though, so I'm not too surprised he's at least doing well. But just the level of success and our pass game or our pass defense struggling like this. But there have been games that we've simmed throughout the season where we've allowed over 400 yards of passing. So it's obviously an inconsistent pass defense. And today we're just seeing the, the bad side of that inconsistency. Third down. Unger with a big throw for White. I've been impressed by both receiving cores thus far with their production and tough plays. Here's Lemon with Jets to the outside. I'm recording this Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. It is indeed Wednesday morning. Okay. So maybe I'll have some free agency reactions here if any news drops as that is dropped. See, that's one of those plays I wouldn't actually classify as a drop. It was a great play by the defender. The drop stat's a very inconsistent one in Madden and in real football sometimes. Unger on second down. What a throw! Lucas McAllister with the catch at the one. Cardinals in business. All right, I don't think I can let McAllister go. When we watch, he's a star. 52 yards now for Luke, and we fake it. We're going to throw it out to the fullback again. What are we doing? I need to remove that play from this situation. Come on. That's the second time we've failed on the fullback throw and then had a false start. Third and goal, Arizona. Can we get into the end zone? We need the touchdown here. Unger's chase dumps it off and will not get the touchdown. It's broken up again. Second time on this possession by number 51. Oristis Russell made those plays. 21-6. This feels like the situation we usually put other teams in. On to the second half now as the Cardinals start by going three and out. And Josh Rosen just continues to hit big chunks in the air. Penalties might help us, but Keenan Allen overcomes all the lost yardage. Sacked by Jalen Graham. 19 yards. This might be our late season wake-up call. A lot of good teams have one of these types of games. And the Chargers have made it 28-6. to six. An awful performance for the Cardinals here on the road. We have struggled mightily, unlike anything we've seen this season. On second down, it's a quick throw for Avery Payne. Now, I'm not willing to count us out of this game yet. 
I know that comebacks can happen when there's a sense of urgency, but if there's no touchdown on this possession, I think I'll call it there. I haven't seen the Seattle score, if they've even played yet. Yeah, we didn't get that conversion. So I'm not sure if they're going to gain any ground from this, but they have their chance. That almost got blocked. It's the last thing we need to see. And a good tackle. All right, can we get a stop, a turnover, anything positive? No. Keenan Allen is shredding us. How many yards is he up to today? 150? Maybe more? Did they just try a fake field goal up 22 points? Wow. That's a bold move. So the Cardinals take over. Here we go. Down 22. We're moving the football. And we have the touchdown to Devontae Adams. And the lead is now 14 points. So don't go anywhere. Do not change that channel. Intercepted Marcus Peters. Here we go. Extra tight ends in the game. Here's Unger first down. It's caught by McAllister to the five. 17 yards. I believe he's our leading receiver today. From the shotgun on first down. Caldwell with four chargers right there. They're offsides. Oh, that actually might have been false start. Oh, man. That's the third full start in inside the five, I believe. Third full start inside the five today. Unbelievable. How often do we talk about penalties ruining us? Second down. It's not going to get much or anything. I don't want to waste this opportunity. Third down. I'm scared for this play. Unger fires, and it's nearly picked. I don't think we'll go for it. We do not. 11-point game now. Chargers will get it back, and I'm assuming they'll continue to throw it, and they do so successfully. More penalties. So obviously, penalties can be, you know, something that wrecks a couple games for you every season, and it's one of those games for us today so many bad penalties here's a hands off and excellent defense it's ripped out we got it it was forced free by buddha baker and the cardinals take over i can't believe what we're seeing right now but there's still a lot of work to do Cardinals four receivers. I think we have to get the big play touchdown. Here's Unger. It's caught by Adams, who escapes one defender. But down in the red zone, we've been atrocious. The penalties, the play calling, we're not doing ourselves any favors right now. Here's Unger. First down. It's caught! Coldwell inside the 25. We're just outside the red zone. Can we get the big play here? Unger throws it short instead, and Avery Payne gets five. Third down and four from the 16. Payne motions out. Not sure where Lemon is here. As Unger finds McAllister, and he's just outside the end zone. Lucas McAllister comes up big for us again. Please tell me we can get this in the end zone. Toss right. Lemon for the touchdown. One score game. Can the Cardinals really complete this comeback? This to make it a field goal game. We run it, and that was the wrong decision. See, you should always see your quarterback audible. Facing that front in that situation. You do not want to run inside zone. So Chargers up five. Are we going to be able to get this football back in the touchdown needed to actually win? I expect they'll mostly run, but there's a good chance they'll break out a couple passes if things get tricky. Oh, good power on display from Wilkins. That's a big run. Yeah, we're going to see the power now. That is for sure. 
They hand it back to Wilkins, who cuts off left tackle and has the Charger first down. Offset backfield, Wilkins again. Better defense this time, and who made the play, everybody? Deontay Wallace, another one. Now they're going to throw it. Rosen second down, fires, and it's caught. Short pickup, and that's Keenan Allen. Big play here for the defense. Can they get the stop? There are three tight ends in the game. I expect a run to Wilkins. Who's going to make the play? Wilkins carries. He breaks through Iwabima for a moment and is cleaned up by Jalen Graham. I would give Iwabima a lot of credit there. He slowed him up. And that's going to give us the football back. The punt is clean. It'll be inside the end zone, actually. So from the 20, we have to travel 80 yards for a touchdown in a minute 48. Here we go, J-Dub. On the road in L.A. Here's Unger against the Blitz. He'll fire outside the numbers, and Caldwell connects for 11. Again to the air from the 31. That's complete to White. Inside 90 seconds. Oh, that was almost a game ender. That was intended for Lucas McAllister. Big third down for Unger and Caldwell. Did he lose some of that ground? It's a timeout for Arizona. And we're going to have to get the fourth down conversion. This play could be anything. I don't know what it's going to be. Please be smart. Game on the line. We run it. And Lemon is denied! The Chargers take over on downs! It wasn't the worst play we could have called from that formation. But I think I would have been happier throwing it. Josh Rosen and the LA Chargers are going to win this game. And what a game it was. You just can't get destroyed like that for three quarters of a game and try to clean it up at the end. Arizona's going to fall short in what ended being a very entertaining game. Wait a minute here. They actually punted and we blocked it! Are you kidding me? Because the, the punt happens, they made it so like the punt happens as soon as they get to the line if that makes sense the cpu punts too quickly okay i could have said that in a lot less words now you know why my videos routinely run to a half hour 40 minutes so they're giving us one play we have one play to take it from the chargers and here it is unger lobs up a, a poor hail mary and it's incomplete game over so that is it josh rosen gets the better of us today he played lights out major props to him and the chargers humble us here josh rosen outplayed jw unger today i can't believe i'm saying that nearly 400 yards of passing bennett wilkins 55 yards they ran well out the gate wilkins did a good job chewing clock on that last possession before they had to punt and then keenan allen 136, two touchdowns. Their receivers did an outstanding job. For us, I would say that Lucas McAllister was our best player on offense today. He made some of the most critical catches. He had a lot of yards after catch. Could not get into the end zone, but that was uh, an experience right there. Since this has become Lucas McAllister Appreciation Day, let's see what he's done over the course of his career. He's just a 77 overall tight end, but with his two years here in Arizona, he's put up great production for a tight end, especially in a crowded offense like we have. He's been even better this season. More touchdowns, more yards per catch, more yards total. I'm happy he's not a free agent this year, but I would be re-signing him right now if he was. I'm not going to make any offers today. I still think a lot of these contracts are iffy. I don't know about the Jason Lemon one yet. I have to see what kind of cap space we're dealing with, but having a rookie quarterback contract, that does make things kind of easy mode here for managing salary cap. 
it got a lot more difficult in the Brown series when Anton Greenberry was making top dollar. We're back in the win column this time, though, with a three-point win over the Lions. We had a couple touchdowns for J.W. Unger, as the offense seems to be going through a, a slower period right now. Jason Lemon had 100 yards, Avery Payne had a touchdown, and we allowed another 130-yard receiver. I don't like seeing those standouts. Touchdowns for White and Caldwell, not McAllister. I was hoping he would have a nice game. And then for catches allowed, looks like Watts Mathis gave up five, Howell gave up four. Any INTs just for them. And the sacks, Dion Richard, Marshall Donaldson, and Bosa. Look who is getting an upgrade today, Aaron Howell. I'm going man-to-man -man this time. I want to get that into the 90s. 87 overall, look at the boost. Plus one speed. So here we go. 92 speed for Aaron Howell, the number 16 ranked corner in the league. Always good to have quality tackle depth. Plus four pass block, plus one strength. Oh my, that's incredible. Moses Humphrey. Plus two zone, plus one man. All right, so here are Humphrey's ratings now. And... I thought he'd be an interesting player, but Wallace has gotten the playing time, and he's done a lot with it. Oh, here's an upgrade for Jared Strojny, just in time before he regresses a little bit more. 86 strength, 83 run block, 88 pass block. I think at this stage, I'm just going to stick with his power here. I'm not going to upgrade very much more throughout his career, but he's still a solid starter. The Cardinals are division champs and get a bunch of points in this game against the Broncos, winning 42 to 27. Lots of turnovers. J Dub threw a couple picks and three touchdowns, while we caught three picks and sacked their quarterback four times. A touchdown for Jason Lemon, touchdown for Caldwell, Devontae Adams, McAllister 35 yards, and Pierce Hamilton, one catch, one yard, one touchdown defensively. I'm expecting Aaron Howell, maybe. Marcus Peters had two interceptions, and Baker the other. And for sacks, Iwabima, Wallace, Dixon. Also, two defensive touchdowns. Baker and Peters each had a pick six. We do have the best record right now in the NFL, and I do want to watch the Week 17 game. It's the first division game we'll have watched in a while. And it'll also see if we can solidify home field advantage throughout the postseason. We could fall to, looks like the Saints, the Eagles could potentially tie us and take that away. So, we will see. Next episode, if we can beat the Seahawks and move to 13-3. and I did see in the standings that they've clinched a wild card spot. So, we could see them week 17 and again. Weekly awards, I'm guessing Marcus Peters? Yep. Deontay Wallace, all right. One more upgrade today for the rookie linebacker. Wallace, our second round pick, has been tremendous this year in run defense and he's showing some ability in coverage as well. I think that pass coverage is the way to go once again. Come on, give me a speed boost. No, we don't get that, but coverage gets better. I may make some contract offers next episode. You can leave your feedback on what you think about any of these pending free agents, Jason Lemon being the main one, and then Devontae Adams, another player you just got to think about, like we're obviously doing well with him. Is he worth a greater investment? Marcus Peters, same question. Jalen Graham. So I'll have to make some tough decisions between now and the offseason. But next episode, we take on Seattle. We'll just check on the stats and end today's fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Unger, 34 touchdowns, the seven picks. Lemon, very close to 1,000 yards rushing. Could he get there next episode? We'll see. Martavis Caldwell has the best shot at a 1,000-yard receiving season. Devontae Adams has an outside chance. And how about McAllister outgaining Isaac White? Wow. 
Deontay Wallace has 100 tackles, 11 for a loss, two and a half sacks. The leader in sacks is Joey Bosa with a respectable eight. Iwabima has seven. And look at all the interceptions. That's it for today, everybody. Thank you again for watching. Please leave your feedback in the comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon with more Cardinals franchise. Have a great day.